forward to Dr. Venkat Raman as a mark of dedication to our India. This is from the manufacturer to the end user, the neurosurgeon. before I accepted this. To be honest, I thought I had nothing to do with this. In a sense, not with a sense of uh, not mine, not that. But honestly, it's not an area in which I would either comprehend or uh, contribute. So, strictly speaking, I think at that time, my thoughts being wanting to be correct, my thoughts were that maybe somebody else should do it rather than me. But after this presentation and after the way in which doctor has uh, shown how he moved from one to another and uh, the relevance of such a thing, not just for India to be a manufacturing hub, but also the relevance for those patients who normally give up on being treated because they can't afford it. It is served in so many different levels and so many different dimensions and I'm extremely happy and humbly submit my assessment was wrong and I'm so glad that I'm here today. In India, in fact, uh, even if I risk sounding a bit political, for all those who suspect Make in India is not making much of us progress. Look at this. So, it is possible, it is possible for all of us. And I'm sure there are many more things that governments can do. Many more things can be done by the government to make this a lot more replicable. Many such people do, you know, replicate this example. This could be for a particular treatment, something else could be for communication. A third could be something else. But what a beautiful and ideal combination of a you know information-based scientist, a life science person, a doctor, a practicing neurosurgeon, and a you know person who could convert it all into some manufactured product. And actually speaking, it's so much to every individual's life who's going to be treated with it. But absolutely light. I thought it was going to be very, you know, even as, you know, I'm not trivializing it. It's so easy to handle too. So the designing, the materials used in its production, are on so many different things you can actually talk about this. I can, I can get the feel of it even in the 10 minutes that I sat and heard it. But I'm sure for the users, for the expert doctors who are going to use it, it's going to make a big difference. Dr. Mahalasa Medical Technology is founded by Mrs. Sadashiv Bhatt, a biomedical engineer. He's worked with Dr. Venkat Raman for more than 25 years, right from Divan's days to Manipal, and then started off on his own with Mahalasa Medical Technology. He has conceptualized, designed, and manufactured many products to the field of neurosurgery. 
and is apart from manufacturing products, is also been in the industry of biomedical consultancy services. And the prestigious one is being the Seabird Hospital, a naval base at Karwar. He was a biomedical consultant for those for that project as well. And taking the legacy forward is his son, Mr. Sharath Bhatt, an aspiring bright design engineer and the CEO Sharath Sharath Kumar. <laughs> Sharath Bhatt. So this is a both father and son. Students of BMS College. In fact, we have teachers and students of BMS College also present here, and we have father and son from the same college as well here. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to honor both of you, and none other than Madam, we request you to just now honor both of them. So, on this occasion, we take up this opportunity to honor Mr. Sadashiv Bhatt and Mr. Sharad Bhatt.